Like, you don't have to say what your number is in general, but, like, did your number drop Oh, I don't care. My number's not that high. Well, I don't think it's that high. It's, my number's, like, 38. For some reason, it feel like we're all running into the same five. <laughs> you got the guy who says he's not ready for a relationship, but wants to do all the relationship things. Second, you got the guy who's not over his ex, and he don't realize he needs to go talk to the lady. Third, you got the one who got a baby on the way. He not really claiming it because he don't know if it's his. Then you got the one who is all on your giving you everything that you need conversation personality making you feel comfortable making you feel safe and it just randomly decides to ghost you for like two weeks they're not ready and they be so busy boy f you and then the fifth one this is the one who you try to give a chance to who's not really in your league maybe i need to try some new things so let me just give him a chance so you give him a chance and then he play in your face and that's all that are out here right now if i missed any of them please let me know Hey, man, let me ask you a question. What's up, man? When we get married? Come on, don't start that again. What you mean when we get married? What you mean when we get married? I want to get married. You know how many baby daddies you got? Yes, five and. I'm not finna marry you. You got too many baby daddies for me. I told you. We what do they have to do? Oh, we can around, but we can't get married. No, I'm not finna. You got too many baby daddies. You think I want to marry you? You know how many men you've been with? How many Four, men like I had her before? Five. Me? What you mean? That's like, not that many. That's a lie. It's too many. I can't marry you. Like That's not too I, many. I, I can't marry you. Like, you're, come on. We that don't make no sense. I can't marry you. Like, seriously. We could fuck around. Yeah, we could fuck around. Like, if you don't so want to leave, I leave too. You could leave. No. What you going to do without me? But you, all right, then. All right, don't bring up marriage. Also, do you have sex? Yes. How many sexual partners have you had? I'm counting. Um, this year? You bitches out here damn near 40 years old, still thinking just because I dropped dick in you and spent a night one or two times, you can call his wife. Shut the up and hang the phone up. I'm usually loyal during the talking stage, but it don't always make it to a relationship. And here I am cutting off all my folks for this one person that I thought was going to be everything. And now we nothing. Now I don't have nothing. So it's like, if we just talking, we're just talking. I'm not your girlfriend. I am single. So if you see me out with another man, don't say nothing because, baby, we just talking. You didn't ask me to be your girl. What's your worst experience in the bedroom been like? My worst experience in the bedroom is just dating men. It's just having some men. They suck, yeah. Why do you feel that way? Um, Because men, here, I'll tell you why. Because men only care about themselves during sex and they actually don't care about women making sure they orgasm. Yeah. Do you think it's harder to make a woman orgasm? Yes, it is, but you know what, guess what? All you gotta do is stop watching porn and learn a woman's body. That's it. Why is there so much pressure put on men to make a girl come? Because guess what, men will nut in 10 seconds. No, sorry, men will nut in five minutes. All you gotta do is ride some dick and they will nut. But women, it takes a little bit more. Then just, oh, let me touch your titties. No, I need foreplay. So what does foreplay look like to you? I want my C8. I've determined the worst part of being single. It's not feeling lonely. It's not missing the person. It's wanting intimacy. Like, I just want to be held. And not by some random Chad from the bar. Like, you know the feeling of being held by someone that you love and trust? If your body count was only the men who have made you what would it be? Four? Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> come with their dick or just come in general? Like, come. does that include eating out and other stuff? Yeah, come in general. More than that then, maybe like eight. Okay. How much did your number drop? Like, you don't have to say what your number is in general, but like, did your number drop Oh, I don't care. My number's not that high. Well, I don't think it's that high. It's, my number's like 38. My number is 38. These girls are never going to be able to pair bond with somebody for a long time. What? 38 bodies. Okay. That's actually a pretty good average. Is it? Okay. I think that's a good average. Okay. Do you easily? Um, no. 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 <laughs> you really gotta work for it. You just have these men in a chokehold. Well, I don't know. Like... I guess it depends on the mood, though, because sometimes I'm, like, super horny or haven't had sex for a while or, like, you know, whatever, and then I, I sometimes, like, come easier than other times. How old are you? 27. Has dating gotten easier for you? No. Why not? I feel like Boys just like get stupid. 
until they reach 30. So you think it's going to change magically in three years? No, but I think they like hit an age where like mature, they're like, okay, maybe I should start treating women right. Under 27, they're like, I'll do what I want. Could it be that maybe these men are just going for younger women? No, so I dated a 39-year-old and he was the same way. He didn't believe monogamy and he was like, no, I want to do whatever I want, whatever I want. Was he pretty successful? Yeah. So he was established? Yeah. Okay. And you I, said... I don't think that should determine whether or not you should like feel a certain way about women or not. That's true. But well, he's 39 you're 27. I was 24 at the time. Oh. Well, of course you don't think that should determine how he feels about women. The truth is, men like variety, and you had our time with him having options and were insecure about it. Or you couldn't handle the truth and didn't want to be one of his side chicks. It's literally just like the candy store analogy. Men have to work to get into the candy store, but women are born into the candy store once they turn 18. Wanted the D, I got the D, he strapped up, I was satisfied, end of the story. Made me feel like I was just a, a sneaky link or something. You really don't care about me don't then. Up, so you really don't, I'm good enough I to, care about you I'm good enough to, to I'm good enough to phone, but I'm not good enough to wife. No, no, because you got to me and baby daddies. I'm never oh, wow. I told you I'm not married. I didn't, so Nobody that got five I thought you really loved like, me. One is more than enough. Like, come on, man, that's too many. Like, I thought on. you really loved me. I really thought you this did. Listen, I care about you. I got feelings for you, but I'm not for the marriage you got to me and baby daddies, all right? I'm wow, that don't make no this. sense. No. It makes total sense because men care about a woman's past, women care about a man's future. And I am sorry, honey, but five baby daddies and you didn't learn after the first one. A woman's value is determined by the amount and type of men that she has been with in her past. Welcome to the Man Key Dating Channel, where we talk about the feminist movement mixed with female liberation in today's dating market. Please click the subscribe button, please like the video, and be nice as you come along with me on my learning journey as a single mother dating a high value man.